Does this sound familiar? Okay, so I started writing in the morning pages and I seem a little more awake and alert in my life. So what? It's just a coincidence. Okay, I've started giving myself time to take myself on an artist date and fill my well and I do notice I am cheering up a little. Oh, come on. It's all coincidental. Okay, so now I'm beginning to notice that the more I let myself explore the possibility of there being some power for good, the more I notice lucky coincidence turning up in my life. I can't believe that I'm really being led. That's just too weird. Yeah, you're not the only one who's skeptical. We're going to explore that and how to air out our skepticism and approach it, not ignore it, acknowledge it, love on it, nurture it, and grow from there. But first, morning pages. Yeah, I'm still pretty skeptical in a lot of ways. And I think a healthy dose of skepticism is not a bad thing. It can help us with like noticing fraud and stuff like that. But the key to skepticism is to suspend our belief until we've had the chance to do our own work and work through our judgments through rational, impartial contemplation and deliberation through the work. So. Julie is not asking us to like blindly believe everything she throws at us. She's simply asking us to be curious. So here we are on week two and our skepticism hasn't stopped us yet. Alas, we all have our own doubts about this creative creativity stuff. And so those doubts can be very powerful. And unless we air them out, they can sabotage us. So rather than trying to be a good sport by hiding them or stuffing them down, Julia advises us to explore them instead. So as we open ourselves to higher creativity, notice the doubts that creep up and explore them. That's where the good stuff is. That's where the invitation for growth is. I think you'll have a lot of fun doing that with today's creative exercise found below. So enjoy that and I will see you tomorrow. Peace and love, my fellow curious creative skeptic.